from the Iranga and surrounds Namibia. I just find the form of this specimen quite appealing. So lying flat, let's have it lying flat like this. Go around like this. And sitting on this matrix, minor what appears to be shoal tourmaline here. Often on these sections I've also found the highlight opal which would make it fluorescent. I don't see any of the cuff here. If I do see some I'll mention it in my eBay description. And then another interesting thing. Ah, the quartz crystals. I just need to, let's just focus in on that. Uh, sometimes, especially with these smokies, it's very difficult to, to get the guys in focus or the camera goes a bit haywire. There you can see my finger behind. It's actually see-through smoky quartz crystals. And what I found uh, quite appealing about this one is just the general form, the sort of a V formation we have here. From the Ironga and, uh, uh, and surrounds Namibia. Now, I call the, the, the particular form of these quartz, as I call it the witch's finger, with the thicker base and the thinner termination. Also, some very interesting crystallization there, some self-healing taking place over there. Let's just take it around again. And micro uh, uh, shawl tourmaline. On the background, a little bit of feldspar as well, quite typical to these deposits of the Irong Irongo Mountain in Namibia.